Hello everybody, welcome to my Let's Play series. Here we're on episode 4. Today we're going to be making a mob farm. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. So, we're going to put our hat back on. We've got googly eyes, you might have seen. There we go, googly eyes. They, they move around when I move around. Kind of fun. Now, um, it's going to be over at the hill that I looked at in the last few episodes using the skeleton and the zombie spawner. Uh, you can also see some of my plants have grown and the uh, sugarcane has also grown which is good. So what we want to do is we want to uh, get all sorts of monsters there and I plan on using uh, some vector plates. Okay, and we need a uh, slime balls, and they're kind of uh, difficult to get your hands on. There was a rice one there, and I've seen some rice around in the world, so maybe we can. Uh, here we go, rice. Okay, so it's just rice dough, which is rice around some water. Maybe that will be a way to do it because once we get one of them it's got EMC so we can multiply it with our tablet that we made last time. Be able to make quite a few of them. Hmm. Also this is still going. This is just working through some some more ores and it's making a nice pile of um, good things in here. Ingots and some quicksilver there. This is working really well. This is full, and these are full as well, so no problems there. It was a good idea putting fire underneath it, because it's now four times faster, not two times. So I apologize for last time. Last episode, saying that it was two times, it's four times faster, which is great. It's really great, so. Yeah. So I'm just going to go over and have a look. Maybe I'll take some building materials as well just in case I want to make anything. I have an idea of what I want to make, so we'll see how that goes. We also might need an ender pearl, and I might need to kill that enderman. That's for later though. Let's go over there and have a look. I could make an entrance wherever I like, but it's just nice using the one that they've made for us. And we go downstairs. Now I'm thinking of blocking off this area here. So they spawn in here and get pushed to the middle. Oh, one just spawned right there. Cheeky blighter. And then get pushed into something down there. Let's just light it up down here. So they end up on... Uh, they end up here with something like that around we can actually take this one away now might have to put a half slab in if um, baby zombies spawn whoops there we go then we'll just place the ladder back up on the other side Something like that, I think. Let's kind of make this a little neat. So the vector plates are very, very cool things. And they push monsters or uh, items around and that means you can whoop, you can um, push the monsters into the middle and then they'll push be pushed down there and then that'll become very easy access for us make sure it's going to be dark I'll probably put some redstone lamps in here when we've got some more uh, technology 
that at the moment this will have to do. And I'll just do the same on the other side. Nice. That's a very simple uh, mob spawner. And it does only work when we're here. So we'll have to be here to spawn it. Unless it's dark in the room, then I guess other things will spawn. But until then, we'll just uh, keep it as it is. Now, I do have plans to make um, like a cursed earth. Um, no, I don't know what it's called. Uh, here we go. Uh, cursed earth. Um, aggressively spawns mobs when in the darkness. Only fire can stop its spread. So we want some of that. And we do that by right click soil with a drop of evil. Now drop of evil comes from uh, a wither skeleton. Ooh, drop of evil. There we go. Uh, and there's a 10% chance of getting one of those. And the way we get wither skeletons is we can actually change, we can either go to nether or we can change the skeletons that will be there into wither skeletons using witch water. As you've probably seen up here, I've got some things queued up. So uh, ancient spores turn earth into mycelium. And then you put a barrel on the mycelium, fill it with water, and that slowly changes into um, witch water. And then when you pour witch water over skeletons, that turns into wither skeletons, giving us a drop of evil, which means we can continue with the process. So we actually need to make a sieve, sieve um, and some mesh. And we're going to make the best mesh, of course, because we have lots of diamonds and iron, and m why not, really? And we need some flint as well. There we go. And some string. I did harvest some string, so I think we have everything we need. Yes, one of these. There we go. A sieve. This also has EMC. Uh, 44. Now we need to make some mesh. Now this is just quite simple. So we would get nine of these. And then seven of these. No, six of those six of iron and the higher grade we get here the more chance of getting the drop from it so we just place that in there there it is then we get some dirt because that's where um ancient spores come from dirt so we can actually get rid of all of these and we just place it in there and right click we didn't get anything actually Typical, right? Well, I hope it works. It does say only uh, string mesh, so. Maybe that's the case. I guess it's only string mesh that um, you just shift click it out again. Okay, so we'll make a string mesh. And it's gone dark. So I um, we'll have to be careful. There we go. Ancient spores. Now this needs to um, go on soil. And we'll just put that over here. Is very uh, temporary this base. We'll be moving out soon, I hope. Hmm. Okay, don't mind if I do. Just sitting there in my base. And then, if it's if the barrel with the water sits on one mycelium, then it it goes at kind of the speed one. But if it has eight around it, it goes much quicker. So that's why I'm placing mu uh, many more on there. Uh, we're just going to trash these because we never need them. Just put 
the copper up in there. Let's put some things away. Okay. Now we need some, we need a barrel actually, which is just made of wood with a half slab in the middle. There we go. And a bucket of water. Do I have a bucket? Yes, I do have a bucket of water. There we go. And as soon as I click this in the barrel, it'll start changing. You can see at the top, the tooltip at the top, um, it'll show that it's changing, transforming 0%. That's because there's just, it's really slow because there's just one there. But if we take our watering can and we light up the area, it spreads. Three, four, it goes slightly faster. Now if we make sure all of them get enough light, and I don't run out of water, oh, run out of water. And we're back. You can see now it's changing a lot faster. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And once that's at a hundred percent, we can then get the witch water out again. See, we can't get it out just now. We'll get the witch water out and um, we'll, we'll have witch water. Now this uh, creates mushrooms, which we can make stew out of if we want uh, another um, means of food. We also got pumpkin seed from the dirt and a rubber tree seed and a few others. Okay, we're at 90%. Now I might sleep through the night because we don't actually need it to be dark to get skeletons from. All right, 100% witch water. You can see at the top, witch water amount, 1,000 millibuckets, one bucket. There we go. We can even teach our table witch water, I think, or maybe it was just a bucket. Okay, it was just a bucket. Not so, uh, not so lucky. Ho, ho, ho. Please don't blow up my stuff. Nice. We also got a loot bag as well. And something died there. Common loot bag. Ooh, some bread. Uh, constellation paper. Astro sorcery. But, uh, and now you memorize a drawing of Vicio. Nice. Also, a uh, Giga pickle seed. Whatever that is. There's also a skeleton as well. Nice. We could have witch watered the, that skeleton, but it's easier when they're uh, captured. And the witch water goes everywhere. And if you step in witch water, which is quite easy to do, then the let's see skeleton yes 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 look at that there's one already there do you see it changed oh it gave me a withering effect we didn't get a drop of evil just then so uh, we'll try again and we'll Try and get a drop of evil. They do um, drop wither skull fragments and coal and wither dust, sulfur and witch water buckets. They don't drop witch water buckets. I was only joking. <laughs> Let's have another one spawn, please. Oh, there's one there. Oh, come on. 
Okay, I'll come back when uh, I've got one. Okay, so I've just got a drop of evil. It didn't take too long, maybe two or three skeletons, which was nice. So I'm uh, just disabling it with the torches again. So that means we can make a, a real mob spawner, a proper one. Now this is going to give us lots of good things, lo all the mob drops, but also loot bags. And loot bags have great things in it, like a diamond shovel with fortune three. I'll take that. And sometimes they just have music discs or things that aren't so useful. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, dropped it on the floor. So um, I'll come back when uh, I have a plan for the mob farm and we'll see what it's going to be like. See you then. So I think I've worked out a place for the mob farm. It's going to be over here and it's going to be down a little. So I don't want a cobblestone nine by nine just in the, in the air. So I'm just going to dig down a little. Okay, just grab some dirt. It's not the prettiest thing to build with, but it's what I've got. So now in the middle here, we want to put the mob grinder. It looks pretty nasty and it hurts if you walk into it. Now on the back, we're gonna put a lever and that just switches it on. Now it's doing real damage. Then we take our vector plates and we look in the direction we want them to go. If we sneak, then we can, we don't get moved by them. So that's good. We don't really want to be pushed into that machine. Now we need to leave one of these blocks empty because we have to put the drop of evil down. Oh no. Yeah, you, when you go into your inventory, it kind of changes, right? There we go. And then we put this down again. So that's now going to spawn monsters. And quite a lot of them. So we can go up to the top again. And we'll just cover the top over with dirt. Now I'll leave a gap so we can actually see the monsters. Um, and we'll see if it's working or not. So this is a dark room mob spawner. I don't know if it's working or not. Oh yeah, we can see them. And then the items come in here once something has died. There, something died and they come in here and then we want to press this one. Items go down and they appear in the chest. Here we go, we have a mob farm. And there's also wither skeletons being spawned in there as well. Now we can upgrade this um, grinder so it has uh, better killing capabilities. But I don't think we need to just now. We definitely don't want that to be uh, cursed earth. We'll just take the loot bag and open it when we go back upstairs. Nice.
Well, there we go. That's the mob farm. Maybe it took a little longer than expected, but we get a reward for it. A bronze chest plate and a spawner seeker. Searches out the nearest spawner. Oh, wait. Apparently there's one that way. Cool. Common loot bag, bones, and a swapping wand. Sneak right click to select a block. Right click. Okay, so it swaps things around. And then a golden chest plate. Nice. So uh, we now have a spawner going. Let's go uh, actually sleep. And then we'll go down and have a look at the spawner and see how it's doing. I'll make a better way down before next episode. Oh, look at that. Getting so many good things in here. It's also collecting experience as well. Beautiful. Well, I think I'll leave that, uh, leave you with that. And uh, if you liked it, uh, click the like button. And if you want to see more, uh, click the subscribe button. And if you have any comments of any kind, uh, comment down below. And I hope to see you next time. So uh, see you next time.